Happy Extra Life Day, everybody. Yes, that time of year has once again arrived where gamers from all over play video games for 24 hours straight in order to raise money for their local children's Miracle Network hospitals. Last year, I identified three things that every binge gamer must have in order to successfully make it through such a lengthy gaming marathon. You need food for energy. Well, I got food. You need a cause to play for. Well, I'm playing to raise money for the Rady Children's Hospital here in San Diego. You also need witnesses, and that's why I'm streaming it on Twitch, so you can watch and yell at me whenever I fall asleep or slack off. I will be taking breaks to eat and, you know, go to the bathroom now and then, but uh, other than that, I will be sitting right here playing video games for 24 hours straight. I realized when I did this last year, there's actually four things a binge gamer needs. Uh, a binge gamer also needs a comfy chair. <laughs> Uh, last year, I sat in a wooden desk chair for 25 hours doing the, uh, uh, the, the marathon, and my arse has never forgiven me. Uh, halfway through, I was sitting on a pillow. By the end of the night, I was, you know, switching cheeks every 10 minutes. My buttocks is flat as a pancake. But... I have brought my desk chair home from work, <laughs> so I am all ready to go. So, if you would like to watch, you can watch at GamePolitics.com or my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Andrew Eisen. And if you'd like to make a pledge, which is tax deductible and every penny goes to helping hospitalized kids, you can do so on my fundraising page, which you'll find at extralife.org. There is a hyphen in there. Make sure you put the hyphen or you'll be at the wrong website. So extra-life.org, uh, search for my name, you'll find my page, click the big blue support me button and you're good to go. So, uh, the marathon, uh, my 24-hour block is uh, noon Pacific Standard Time on Saturday to noon the following day. Uh, so by the time I have this up, it's probably now. And uh, if you're watching this video days, weeks, years later, I'll try and archive and upload as much of the marathon as I can to YouTube. So if you can't watch this weekend and you want to watch it later, I'll try to accommodate you. So. Uh, last year we raised uh, $615 for Rady Children's. Uh, thanks to your generous donations, we've already raised uh, a little over $400, so thank you very much. And uh, I hope you'll watch the stream tomorrow, today, whenever it was. Uh, by the way, if, if you miss the whole event, you can make donations, uh, I, th I think, any day of the year. So if, if the urge strikes you, please do. So let's play some games, have some fun, raise some money for a good cause, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care.